very inexpensive. It just costs you like four thousand nine hundred nine. Did I just say four thousand nine hundred nine? Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and I hope you guys are doing good. Well, if you're new to my channel, then let me introduce myself. My name is Sanjata Thakur, and I'm a professional certified makeup artist. I do bridals and pre-bridals. I also make makeup content on Instagram. I have been doing it from past two years or three, and I have just started my YouTube channel, and it needs your support. So if you love watching my makeup tutorials, if it helps you out, if you love watching. me then do subscribe to my channel and link to my instagram is given in the description box so go check it out and if you love it then make sure you follow to stay updated so let's talk about this video well in general this video is not just for the office going people or for the people who are doing work from home this is for all the kinds of categories who wants to learn how to do natural makeup when you're going to the market when you're going to your office or for the teachers who are going to school but they can't do you know like loud makeup for girls who are going to college and even for the boys you know these days boys are into makeup and i am a loving it and in general i like to look put together you know these days we have to do uh, video conferences with our friends and with our families so ekdam aise banjaron ke tarah i don't feel like going in front of them so yeah i i do like to look put together a little bit so that you know so i'll be teaching you everything in this video so stay till the end and do not skip because this video is going to be very very informative and fun so the first step is that always moisturize your face very well you know even if you are doing heavy makeup or you are doing just natural makeup your face need to be moisturized so i have already moisturized it before the video i am still going to show you what i have used i have used clinique dramatical gel it is really good for the combination to oily skin because it is in gel based form tip number 2 you should always apply sunblock or a sunscreen so whenever you are going out uh even when you're at home you should always apply sunscreen why these lights do emit lot of heat you know there are so many vibrations that are there in our home due to electronic products you should always apply sunscreen it prevents aging wrinkles so yeah it's a win win situation what i really like to do for my skin especially in summers i like to use milagro sun blocker this is their hydrogel so basically hydrogel means it provides hydration but it is in the gel based form so it's going to absorb in your skin much faster than the normal sunscreen and the best part about this sun blocker that it doesn't leave any sorts of white cast and you can just after 2 minutes you can start with your makeup tip number 3 always apply lip balm to your dry chappy lips because nobody likes to see it it looks very distracting and for your personal self care my girls just just apply good lip balm okay so i use lineage lip balm it is in the berry flavor i have bought their trio pack and it is actually a much wiser purchase if you ask me so because if you buy this this will cost you more than this so you get three flavors and exactly 8 grams that you get in the single purchase so yeah it's a win win situation girls you're getting three flavors in it like so the fourth product that i'm going to use is primer yes guys even when you're doing natural makeup i've seen lots and lots of people they don't apply primer and that is not good you need to protect your skin from the makeup products you know ingredients that are being used in those you need to protect your face from that so that is why primer is very very important i'm going to use elf primer this is their putty primer basically and you just need to take a pea size amount just take a tiny bit of it wherever you have pores dab the primer never rub the primer okay it will provide a very soft plain canvas to work with your makeup products and uh, it also helps your makeup to stay longer the fifth product that i'm going to use is a color corrector now there are plenty of color correctors in the market and there are different ways to use color corrector and how to use them but i am going to use elegirl pro conceal 
in the shade nude and this concealer is very very beautiful if you ask me so it cost you around 599 or 499 i don't remember it's been one year if i'm gonna apply it on the areas where i have pigmentation to cover it although i really love this shade this is in the shade nude because it's not too orangey okay it's not too very light that is peachy it is somewhere in between and uh, for my dark circles and pigmentation it works really well you just need a very tiny amount you can take your brush you can apply it with that you can blend it with um, sponge or you can just blend it with your brush and even with your fingers it works very well so yes i'm gonna apply only this much which is also too much and you know i'm basically a very full coverage girl trying to do natural makeup i used to do natural makeup when i was in college for my everyday look and honestly guys people used to love my makeup like i'm not bragging but they're gonna they used to love my makeup they're like you know you look so put together but it doesn't look like that you have applied makeup so i am just dabbing my brush i am not swiping it okay you don't want your product to get wasted you want it to stay there wherever you want it to be if you have very dark lids then you can apply the color corrector over there but what i really like to do in natural makeup i i like to you know just leave my lids like that because it looks like that i've applied orange or brown kind of like you know eyeshadow so yeah i have my own tips and tricks so the sixth product that I'm going to use is a concealer and the best way to choose a perfect concealer for your skin shade because I have seen people doing it to the wrong way like why do you do it like, like ask me brother so concealer should be similar to your skin tone so this is the best way to find a good concealer something that just melts and blends in your skin you know a perfect shade to kabhi nahi find kar paoge but something that is similar okay to aapke shade se closest shade hona chahiye wo so i am going to use this la girl pro conceal and it is in the shade creamy beige if you want light coverage use less if you want more coverage use it twice it will give you full coverage so i really like playing with this concealer just applying it over here and because i am explaining it to you guys that's why this video is taking so much time great tip guys if you want to look natural and put together always use a color corrector and a good concealer around your lips can you see the difference guys it looks so put together you know you can still see my blemishes and because i have not gone for a very heavy coverage and uh, it looks very natural and very dewy very very lightweight guys so this is a very extra step that i'm going to use right now on my face to make sure my skin looks very natural and if there is any extra product that is there on my face this damp beauty sponge will take care of and this is by lashiva lashes i'll mention their instagram link down below in the description box it is very reasonable very very soft so now there is no product on this sponge literally there is no product on this sponge this is from the past it is a very clean sponge uh, and i'm just going to dab it on my skin and if there is anything patchy it will take care of and it will simply blend the unblendable does that make sense so the seventh step that i'm going to use is using a setting powder now i am not a really big fan of using compact powder if your base is so good you don't really need a compact powder because compact really makes your face look cakey and very heavy it creases and uh, on oily and combination skin compact is just not a good idea so i like to use setting powder and this is by 
Huda Beauty. Always close your eyes whenever you're applying uh, a loose powder if you have applied lenses like me. I know that there are so many people out there who still use compact in general and I am not judging them but I'm not a really big fan. I used to do it like five or six years back. As soon as I've started using Laura Mercier um, loose powder, it's finished right now. That is why I'm using Huda Beauty, but Laura Mercier translucent powder. If anybody is watching, please send me in PR. I love that product. I think um, it is my fifth or sixth bottle that I have finished it up and I have to purchase my seventh bottle. So in the eighth step, I'm gonna use an eyebrow definer, make it look a little bit more put together. Because if you have good brows, you're good to go. You know, good brows is very very important. So I'm gonna use Anastasia Beverly Hill palette, and this is their pro palette. You don't need to buy it. It costs you around ten thousand, and you have to give custom. So yes, it's a very expensive purchase. It is really good for the pro makeup artist, but you really don't need it because I like to you know shop around and I love buying makeup. That is why I bought it. This is their pro primer, and I'm gonna use this chocolate light brown shade for my eyebrows and what i really like to do i am using this palette after like one year so you can see I, that is why i suggest you do not buy because it's a very expensive purchase so what i like to do is i really like to dip my spoolie in this gel and then i like to take the powder like this on my brush and this will change the way you look at makeup it will give you such a natural cover on your eyebrows without wasting so much time i already have a very uh, defined brows but still and what it's gonna do it will just work like those um tinted eyebrow gel so you can see by yourself how my brows are looking more fuller but natural they are looking defined but not too defined which is a trend of 2021 and i have filled in my sparse areas you can see the difference and that's what i'm gonna do over here as well and i'm gonna show you that is ninth i'm gonna use bronzer i have seen a lot of people not including bronzer in their routine uh, you can do contouring but i like to do bronzing if i'm going for the natural makeup although i like to do contouring but for this video i'm just sticking to the bronzer part i tell you why i use bronzer because bronzer give warmth back to your face you know after applying cc cream bb cream concealer foundation your face looks quite blank in no makeup makeup look when you see your face your face has a lot of shadows to give that shadow and warmth back i really love using bronzer and uh, trust me guys it will change the way you do your natural makeup so i'm gonna use bh cosmetics brilliance bronzer and this is in the shade coco cutie basically aapko main dikha dun ki iska accident kaise hua tha aur ye kaisa ban chuka hai मैं इसे फेंक भी नहीं सकती बिकॉज इट इज सच अ ब्यूटिफुल ब्रॉन्जर इफ यू विश टू परचेज इट आई एम गन मैंशन द लिंक डाउन बिलो यू कैन नॉट गेट दिस ऑन एनी इंडियन वेबसाइट सो यू हैव टू ऑर्डर इट फ्रॉम बी एच कस्मेरिक्स और ब्यूटी बे सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्वर्ल इट वेरी डेलीकेटली बिकॉज आई डोंट वॉन्ट के पाउडर वेस्ट हुए और ये इधर उधर भागे एंड आई एम अप्लाइंग दिस पाउडर ऑन माई कॉन्टोर्ड bronzer region so that my face look warm and well defined even in this no makeup makeup look and i'm just going to take what is left on my brush on this side of my chin area make sure you blend it really nicely so that it doesn't look like that you have bronzer on i've not taken any extra product just using whatever i have on my brush on my forehead because these are the regions where your sun falls and where you naturally get tanned so i'm just putting a little bit on my nose because you're doing everything on your face and when you leave your nose it's like why are you leaving me your baby is crying and i really like to define my nose because i have a very round shaped nose 
So the tenth step that I'm gonna include that is giving color back to your face. I call it that way, and basically it means blusher. And you will see I will not use anything on my eyelids. I'll use the same blusher, same color on my lid so that it looks very very natural. So I'm gonna use this Morphe palette, and this is their Cool Pro HC uh, palette. This is a very beautiful palette. Let me show you. It has all the red and oranges and peachy tones that looks very, very natural, very glowy when you don't feel like putting a highlighter. So basically, I'm skipping so many steps over here. I don't have to use highlighter. I don't have to use any extra eyeshadow palette. So because I'm wearing something very warm, so I'll be choosing a peachy tone color. They look very natural. Also, it has a very beautiful sheen to it because I'm skipping highlighter. And now I'm going to dust off the setting powder that I used to bake my face to set the concealer. And I told you guys I'll be using the same shades that I used on my cheek. And this is no eyeshadow palette. This is just the blusher palette I'm using. So the 11th step that I'm going to show you is totally optional. Some people like to apply kajal. Some people like to apply mascara. But I am going to use mascara. This is by Maybelline. It is Colossal Range and this mascara in particular is very good it separates your lashes it doesn't make them clumpy but also make them look a little bit longer and your eyes pop out really well what i do i look down and i apply the mascara from the tip of the wand so this is the best way to apply mascara in your inner corners and to make your lashes look really healthy and then I do this step to separate the lashes so that they don't look clumpy I'm looking up so that it doesn't spoil my makeup and you can see the difference yourself well now I'm gonna show you the 12th step giving a pop of color to your lips there's so many ways that people can uh, inculcate when it comes to uh, natural makeup some people like to use lip gloss lipstick lip pencil or lip balm maybe or maybe tinted you know lip balms that we have in the market but I'm going to give it a twist and I'm going to show you my way of how I do my natural makeup and you will love it because you must have not seen it anywhere what I do, I rub the lip pencil on the back of my hand. I take a little bit of lip balm. If you have lip tint, that is good. But this is my DIY. And then you can see that it is giving a sort of tint and color to the lip balm. And then I'm going to apply generously on my lip. Now the last step is also very optional. If you feel like that your skin is getting dry, then you can use this MAC Fix Plus or you can even use rose water and just spray it all over your face and your skin will start feeling hydrated again. This is a really good spray when it comes to use as a primer or even after makeup and before makeup. So this video has come to an end and I hope you guys love the end result. It is looking so dewy, so natural. You can see the flaws also but you're looking put together and that was the goal of this video. I hope you guys love the tips and tricks. Uh, I hope you guys are loving the content that I'm creating over here. If you love watching this video, make sure you comment down below. Give it a thumbs up and do subscribe to my channel. It will help me in the future to create more content for you guys so until we meet again please stay safe please stay home get vaccinated guys and take care of your surrounding and do what you do and make sure you stay happy and hydrated